Hello everyone, this is Daniela Mini and uh, when you see me like this you know there is something special coming up. Today I'm going to make a collaboration with Jennifer from Next Gen. Jennifer and I did send a box to each other uh, with different things in that we didn't use anymore and then we were meant to do something uh, fun out of that, uh, running a theme from the other one. But sadly the box from her did not reach me. The Danish mail sent it back saying there was something in it that they would not have imported in Denmark. I really don't know what that should be because uh, it is like fabric, paper, buttons, it's beads, stuff like that. So I don't know why the Danish mail rejected the box from her. She got her box so I told her keep it and use it for something else. We did not try to send it to me again as it would just have been sent back to her again and again and it is quite uh, expensive to send something from her to me. So we decided to do this a bit different. She wanted to make a Halloween video using plastic bags, garbage, and recycle them into something interesting for Halloween. She is going to make it in 1 to 1 and I am going to make it in 1 to 12. If you want to see her video, what I highly recommend because this is a really fun project, then find the link for her video in the info box below and in the iCard here in the top. I think we will get to the work now, so let's do it. So in last video we made all this candy right here. The lollipops here is from an old video where I just used black resin. And the same with these, um, oh I forgot the name of those, but they are also from an old video and those I will link in the info box below so you can find them. So I have this bag, Fruchtiger Knusper Puffers mit Mais, a candy that I really really like and I think this bag here is really really awesome so I wanted to do something special with this and the candy that I just showed you before. So first I am cutting the bottom of this bag and then I'm cutting it open here at the connection on the back side of it. So I'm folding over a piece of this plastic bag on itself so it is lying double with the good side out, making sure the size I chose here is the right size around there. And then I'm just cutting out a piece of it. Uh, you can cut out a whole strip and do that also, but I'm just cutting out a tiny bit of this so that I have it ready. I'm using this metal clamp. Remember this has to be metal otherwise it will melt or uh, this will go really bad for you. So use a metal clamp. I fold the bag as I want it and place the clamp onto the edge so that a tiny bit of the bag is uh, sticking out from the clamp. And then I'm just holding it over the tea light. I'm not dipping it into the flame, just holding it over the flame. And this will uh, connect the two pieces on the back. I'm going to do that on the long side as well. Just going to cut a tiny bit of this back. I think it was a little too big. So I'm just going to cut it into the size I wanted. Then place the clamp on this side. Again, so the back is showing on the outside here, but kept by the clamp. Oh, that's teasing me a bit right here. Let's try it again. Place the back in the clamp like so. And then go over the tea light. Don't put it into the flame, but just... Uh, go over the tea light and you will have a tiny bag here you can put some candy in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I am going to take these lollipops. 
So I'm using my pliers and just placing the lollipop so I have the good side visible in this little bag. I want a, a ghost in there as well. Placing that on the side of it. And then I am just cutting this little bag into the size I want. There we go. And placing it in the clamp again. Can be a little tricky. And then over the tea light. And that will close the bag. So these two lollipops is now inside the bag. Now you can do as many as you want to. And I think this little part that I cut off the bag we just made is big enough for another bag. So I'm closing the end here with the light. And let's fill this with these, um, let's see. Uh, can I get this open? And I'm going to fill it with these candy corns we made last time. Just, just put as many in there as you think is uh, enough for this little bag before you put it into the clamp and close it again over the tea light. So I used a lot of the original bag to make all these small candy bags here for the 1 to 12 scale. There were actually enough material of the original bag to make a few extra bags out of it. So I have a few of them for when I'm making some more candy that I can put in there. So first I fold up my uh, bag here and then I am going to cut it over in two pieces. Then I am going to cut out a strip like you see here and I'm going to um, make these square pieces by folding up the corner and then cutting off from the uh, line there. I'm taking a thin piece of sewing thread and making a uh, knot here at the end. I actually should have used a sewing needle but I was too lazy so I did it like this. Um, it is a good idea to tape the knot uh, onto the back side of this uh, plastic so that you don't uh, rip the thread out later because I did that in one of these. So I started to put tape over it. I took another square of the plastic bag and I curled it up and placed it into the middle of this. Taking another piece of my sewing thread and winding that around the connection here and actually making some very good knots. Cutting off the excess thread and I am using a black um, permanent marker for making the eyes on this little ghost. And that is the ghost. And I made a few of these. Now let's make a flower out of this plastic bag. So I am folding up a piece of it and folding it on the middle. I will put this clamp on there to hold the other part of the plastic. And then I'm just cutting out this teardrop of both uh, pieces. This one that I'm working on here and the one from the clamp. I made sure that none of the leaves were sticking to each other. Then I took this green metal rod that I have 
and I am placing the first leaf on there and I'm uh, gluing these ones on with the point downwards so I'm gluing the point onto this middle rod and then I'm just gonna fill up this flower um, kind of rose flower here with these leaves until I think it's thick enough I have some leaves that I cut out from some green paper with one of those leaf punchers and I'm just gluing a few of these on the stem and cutting it off to the length I like it. If you don't have this metal rod you can always use a toothpick and I did make one on a toothpick and I am going to paint this green later on. Another small easy craft is a shopping bag from a shopping bag. So here I am just cutting it into the size I want it, cutting out the handle. When I have the shape of the bag that I want, I am placing one side of the bag into my clamp and then I'm going to heat it and of course I'm repeating it on the other side of the bag. Then I cut off the bottom of the bag and I turned this one inside out. Then I pushed a tiny bit of the side inwards so that it makes this uh, double layer and I do that on both sides. Place it in the clamp and again I am melting it together and then the shopping bag is all done. So that was it for this little easy craft. So this doll is a bit creepy. It's 1 to 12 and I got it like this on eBay without a head. So if you know anyone or anywhere where I can get a head that fits this doll, then please let me know because I would like to have a nice head on her. But uh, for now I'm using her while knitting so I have the correct size for the 1 to 12 scaled body. Let's make a raincoat for her. I am going to take a piece of this back here. I have this piece that is lying double here at the top and I'm just folding it at the middle and cutting out the neckline for this raincoat. Measuring where I want it and then I'm going to cut out the shape that I like for it. First I was thinking about one of those um, bad raincoats, um, so I cut it in this shape you see here, but I decided over and cut it into a coat raincoat instead. So that's what I'm doing right here, just straight lines making it easier to melt the plastic together where I want it melted. I just try the shape here and I kind of like it. So I am putting the sleeve here into my clamp and removing all the other uh, plastic here so I don't get that burned over the candle by accident. Then I place the long side here in the clamp and again I'm removing everything else here placing that to the side so I don't get it burned while I'm melting the side here together. Do this on the other side as well, just the same way as we did with the first side. There we go. Then I am going to cut the middle up here to the neckline 
so that will be the front of the raincoat. Now here comes the hard part and it is almost impossible to see what I am doing but I am uh, here folding the raincoat open so I have a more straight neckline at the top. Then I cut out another piece of the plastic bag, a square, and I'm going to align that with the neckline itself all the way over the neckline and then I'm going to melt these two pieces together and this was really difficult so take your time relax and just work with it I will skip a little of this because I really used quite a lot of time for getting this fused together in the neckline but it is possible this looks like it didn't take me quite that long but it actually took a long time for me I am cutting the hoodie here into the uh, length I want it to and then I am going to fold it in so the back side has this little indent thing uh, and then I'm putting my clamp on and fusing the plastic together so that gives me the hoodie and then I decided to try it onto my doll so I'm just putting it on her very carefully not to break my doll and I was thinking we need a belt of some kind so I took another piece of plastic and cut out this long thin strip from it then I took my glue and I like this B6000 glue for plastic so I just placed a tiny uh, blob of glue here on the back of the string or the belt, turned my doll around, figured out where I want the belt to sit and placed it right there and now I can tie it in a tiny bow at the front and cut it to the length that I like it to be. So there we go. I think this turned out really really cool. I like the result. But a raincoat without pockets, mm, let's see, let's make some easy pockets here for this one. So I took another piece of plastic, folded it and then I folded it on the middle and on this fold I cut out the pockets that I want, the size of it, so that I have two pockets right away. I'm again using my glue and I am gluing the edge of the pocket to the raincoat and then the other pocket to the other side of the raincoat. So that was all there was for the raincoat. This was really difficult to do. I think that was the most complicated of them all but I like the result a lot so I hope you like this as well. I went a little overboard with this project so I made a little scary room scene for this. I will show you next week how I did it but here is some pictures of the done result from this craft. I really had a lot of fun with this and I hope you will go watch Jen's video right now. Thank you for watching this one and happy crafting!